So what were you guys doing this day? This was filming for... We're, we're looking... We're on the middle of uh, the Pacific you full, Ocean. You can full screen this one, I think. Yeah, in the, full, in the Pacific Ocean. And all the time they're asking me to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it until it happens, so I don't know what's going to happen. Is this is off the coast of California? Yeah, see, that's that's uh, yeah, that's a mako right there. But you see, I hand feed and I put my hand on, underneath them and I lift up on them. Okay, that's a smaller mako. We had six mm -hmm. makos and three blue sharks that day. So you guys are chumming up barracuda and yeah, they have chum in here. But what really does it? See that fish right there? Yeah. I'm gonna take my knife and work it. Right. See what I'm doing right there? That's yeah. what makes it happen. That's what draws the sharks in. Okay. The the knife is a secret. For all that. That's a small mako. So yeah, that was the first one that showed up. And you guys are just, you guys are literally surrounded by a chum tornado. I, I grabbed this one and another one. And then I, I flip a big one on his back. <sighs> this one, I, I, I lift him out of the water and I show him to everybody. It is the fastest shark in the world. The mako. Yes. Yeah, so you don't want to move fast. So you want to let him get comfortable. Like right there. You want him to go slow, yeah. Yeah, yeah. See, I, you just you just got to take it easy mm -hmm. and don't move fast. Let him come around you. You don't want to scare him. Uh, this one bites the the float. They get they get feisty. Uh, mako is very dangerous, but see, this mako is never going to see another human being again. He lives in the middle of the ocean. Right, right. So I like working with him because people say, "Well, Manny, you're you're working these." These sharks are on the beach. You know, these, the blues and makos are not coming ashore. Mm. I've worked coastal sharks before, but it's been a long time and I won't, I won't work them again. Mm. If I do sharks again, it'll be open ocean. That way they don't, whatever I do with them, they don't learn, they don't pick up custom, they won't attack people on the beach. They stay out in the ocean. So people are safe. You don't want them getting comfortable see, with humans. See oh yeah, you flipped it on its back. Wow. Yeah, those little You're teeth hand feeding this little Mako and he's just shredding this fish right out of your hands. That is wild. So yeah, that's the fear, right? That's the fear when you interact with all these sharks all the time and you're swimming with them and spearfishing with them all the time. They get used to human if, beings. And if they're, you're not, they're not afraid anymore. If you're spearfishing... You're worse off because you're busy struggling with a fish when the shark comes from behind and gets you. The shark's gonna attack mm. from behind when you don't see him. Look at that thing. What's that, like a 10 footer? Mm, probably about eight. That's a okay. nice size mako. Always exaggerating on the show. We're not sure in the size, but yeah. it's, a, it's, a, it's probably about 300 pounds. They're very heavy, a lot heavier than they look. They're dense, they're very mm. muscular. Were you ever close to being bit? that day or did they like uh, try to bite you one of them, a blue shark almost bit the producer um, a, a blue shark almost bit me in the stomach there's a scene in there where i'm pushing off a blue shark off my stomach as i'm feeding a mako and the blue comes in to bite it both at the same time okay this is oh what is, is that what is that a blue blue shark yeah we had three blue sharks what is the story with blue sharks uh they're deadly as deadly as makos they're different uh, they're both very dangerous, but a blue shark, if you offer him your hand, he'll take it. You go, here, are you going to bite this? Mm -hmm. Just come up and he'll grab it. Yeah, they're weird looking See, I'm, ones, hand, huh? I'm hand feeding them right there. So you did this with Steve-O and those guys too? Uh, we did not this part. What I did with them is I did, I put them on a surfboard one time in the Gulf of Mexico. We mm -hmm. put a bunch of fish on them. We had about 25 silky sharks and eight huge tuskies showed up. I had them there. I also had them with a mako and a hammerhead and mako. Mm. I put them with a hammerhead and mako in, in Louisiana also. I did two in Louisiana and also put them before with a lemon shark in shallow water swimming around them. So I've had them about three different times with good, good shark stuff. The mako almost bit his leg off. That was a classic. Is that when you got bit by the lemon shark? No, I got bit by a lemon shark when we used to dive on him from the boat. Oh, okay. At what point were you riding those great hammerheads that was i sat one day and i, I looked at the footage and i said i can ride these things and people said you're not no you're not gonna build it they're not gonna let you do that and i went out planning on doing it and i did it uh, where, actually, where were you in the keys in the keys 
So after that, I just rode plenty of hammerheads. He doesn't have a bad temper. I discovered that. Right. I rode a bull shark, and I rode a short distance, and when I let go of that bull shark, bull shark went after me with everything he had. Really? I had to fight him off. Uh, four what did you have to fight him off? Uh, my kicking him, punching him, everything you can imagine. You didn't have a spear gun or anything, a knife or anything? Uh, no. That time, because I was, uh, we had a... Uh, we had pole spears for getting bait, mm. but we were, you know, a lot of times we'd drop everything and we were in there with our hands, you know, but we were getting bait. We had some stingrays that we had, had killed down there and they devoured the stingrays in no time. A bunch of bull sharks showed up that devoured it. The water was very dirty too. And I went down and I caught a ride on one of them. It was a huge one. And I knew that not to, not to stay on it very long, mm. do a very short ride or he's going to come and get, same thing with the lemon. Right. He'll come back and get you. Can you find a footage of him riding the hammerheads? Because that that footage is wild. Because the ha the hammerheads are interesting too. Would you like the hammerheads? They never bite humans, do they? They'll never attack a human on the beach. I've never heard of a hammerhead. Uh, yeah, the hammerhead will attack. They will. Yeah, yeah. All right. So we wanted to. We were just looking at. We were trying to find the footage of you riding the hammerhead, but um, you rode a mako. So this is footage of you riding hand catching. A, hand catching. Oh. It's hand catching a mako. You're hand catching a mako shark. Holy shit! Yeah. Take it from the first. It shows you how I grab them at first. So if you want, rewind like a little bit, maybe a minute. Okay. Look at that thing. How big is that mako shark right there? That mako is about, I say, five and a half feet, about a hundred and something pounds. Uh, this is a very strong shark. It looks much bigger than five and a half feet. It might be. It might be. It's very, uh, understand they're very dense. It could be 180 right. pounds. See how I, I ease, just ease my hands on him? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because there he goes. He's like, what the fuck is happening to me? Yeah. So this is how you hand catch a mako shark. He's not trying to bite you at all. Uh, if you give him the chance, he will. Manny, that is the most insane thing I've ever seen. People that are just listening, Manny is hugging this six foot Mako shark and the thing is swimming full speed and Manny is not letting go of it. I'm going to let go when I, uh, when I get back. I told the guy I'm going to end up back at the boat. If I didn't have camera with me or something I needed to eat, we would have kept him instead of letting him. I'm going to let him. There's a producer right okay, there. Okay, now his go. mouth's open. Yeah, I'm going to let him go. But I would uh, I would have tried to keep him. Uh, but you know, we got the footage. You know that Mako stayed with us the rest of the day. Did he really? After you did that to him, he hung out the rest of the day. All the Mako stayed with us. He's like, hey, man, he come back. I want seconds. <laughs> no, they don't. They don't really care. This is another one that showed up. They kept getting bigger ones and bigger ones. That's a blue. 